So these are our sweat box girls that got a little bit stirred up the other day. There was a bit of excitement going on with all the banging and crashing that happened. But anyway, they actually were making a new queen, so I took their queen excluder out and we're gonna make see if they've actually got one to hatch and come back. Hopefully she's laying by now. And then we'll shake them all downstairs, and then we can get rid of the old brood comb up the top and see if we can't reinvent them. Turn them into something good. I think this is a tall man stand. <laughs> if you're wondering why they're on the air. Oh, if you if you haven't seen the other episode, if you're wondering, they were on a pickup machine just over there, and now they're over here, and so they're working their way towards being useful. And if you're wondering what a pickup machine is, that's something we use to harvest the almonds. So that was in the shed here, and I had to get it moved, and this box was sitting on it, and so now it's on a barbecue. So you never know. Anyway, if you're curious what a pickup machine is, we're going to show you in about a month or so when we start harvesting and we'll show you how to make some serious dust and where your nuts come from as well as your honey. Oh, we're, we're full of information here at the Bush Bee Company. No, at the Bush Bee Man, whatever I am. <laughs> we'll just do the lid first and see what's going on up the top here. Give them a bit of smoke. I'm getting a bit enthusiastic up here. Hello everybody. Hello. Welcome Mr. Bush Bee Man. So we're upside down. We've got the old stuff at the top and the new stuff at the bottom and everybody's getting excited in here so my plan is to shake the girls from here into there but we're just going to see if we can find the queen before we make a mess they're sort of upside down at the minute it's a bit grubby at the bottom of that can we tip all that muck in there? hang on so before we do anything else there's a bit of crap in the bottom of this so we're going to take the tubey brew chamber off and then we're going to clean the bottom board and then we'll make a mess this is one good thing about being able to pull your bee box completely apart then you, so if you can pull it completely apart then you can get rid of the crap at the bottom isn't that right chicks you just make sure your boss isn't in here yeah of course we don't want to upset the ladies too badly so we're going to tip them just tip that grub out hopefully all this lot will fly back home and then they won't have to put up with all that crap in the bottom of their box everybody's not happy with the bush bee man at the minute and seal it up again. Now we'll go back and have a look what's going on in this bit. I think we'll take out a few frames. Because like I said, I want to get this to be the brood box, so we'll see what we find in a minute. We'll start out here and just work our ways towards what we're looking for. I might just put that straight in there, I think, because that's a nice one anyway. Here's some of the old stuff that we stuck together. Whoa, don't do that. Oh, far out. I'd be in more trouble then, wouldn't I, if the whole thing went upside down. I'm just going to be a pain and go and get my glasses because I'm. it's a little bit in the dark in this shed. And my eyes aren't that flash, so... Just, if you think, it's a miracle of television that you've got some glasses all of a sudden. Not quite true. <laughs> anyway, you'll just see what we've got. Don't forget to sing out if you see her. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Where are you, boss lady? Ooh, she's doing a good job. Look at those nice eggs there. Mm. 
that old drone tone. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get rid of because they were being very droney. Oh, oh, oh. That was a very bad attempt at bee humour, wasn't it? <laughs> very drony. You'll be very drony, you silly bush bee man. Maybe a dramatic idea. But... Do you think your original plan worked? Uh, well, no, because I ended up loving all the queen ended up up the top with the, with the workforce. So, so now I'm having, having a re go at it. See if we can't get them off these old frames, because they've got a fair bit of old drone comb. I don't really want them getting too enthusiastic about doing that. But I can't. I can see where she's been, I just haven't seen her yet. It looks nice and healthy enough anyway. Maybe they're doing a good job. Not that they've got a lot of nectar, but they're not going to have a lot of nectar when they're rebuilding anyway, because they're flat out just feeding all this lot, all these young ones. We will shake them in here and let them figure themselves out. Anyway, so the plan is, apparently, that I haven't explained properly, <laughs> I want to get these bees into a new brood box put all of this old comb above the above the queen excluder so then they can hatch out all the brood that's in here and then they'll have to build new comb on this new stuff and then we can throw all this in the wax melter and then we won't even have to worry about it being a cutout because it'll be it'll be its own thing it'll be like a proper bee box instead of all this daggy ass crap I wonder where she is any clue anybody see her Hopefully she's not sitting on the roof. Happy <laughs> the next thing. They're looking busy anyway, aren't they? Busy, busy bees, as the saying would go. And we've got one more frame for that one. Pop that in there. We're just going to shake these in there, because I don't know, I haven't seen her, so... If I had seen the queen, I wouldn't be worrying so much. Here she is in the lid, so we've got to be a little bit excited. Here she goes. She's only a youngster, but she's got a nice pattern going, so we don't want to lose her. We'll just sit it together. So they can settle down. Good, good spotting, Dad. Well, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, we, hopefully we got her in there all nice and safe. My plan is, we've got the queen below in the new frames. So we'll just clean this off. We'll sit our clean excluder on. Then we're gonna sit our top box up here, which eventually will become our super box. Just right now it's gonna have the brood frames because we don't wanna lose all that hard work. Put them in the middle. Those the ladies will all run up here and look after this. And then they'll have to make some nice new brood comb downstairs. Going forward in another month or so, we'll come back and we'll have a look. And if they've taken all the um, larvae out of here, which they should have by then, then uh, hopefully start laying downstairs and then we'll get rid of this old ugly looking stuff and we'll be all tickety-boo. We'll be like a brand new one. Ooh. Pop that bit down. They got a little bit of nectar there. At least they're a bit more relaxed today. The last time I think we'd stirred them up a bit too much and there was blooming bees and stinging and crap going everywhere. So this was a much more relaxed idea. So I think if you're gonna do this yourself, when you're doing a cutout, don't get carried away and try and do it all the same day. Just a bit like everything else in beekeeping, just be a little bit patient. One thing that I'm learning along this journey is patience is a virtue. What is it? Less banging, more caring. Pretty sure she's down there now, so that's good. And they'll all come up there, put them back together, and then we'll just leave them with it. And we'll come back in about a month or so. And we'll find out whether we've been successful. Well, that was a much more successful attempt at moving them around. Hopefully they decide to make their nest down here, which is the plan, which was the original plan, in amongst all the chaos that was going on in the other video. 
Oh God, I don't know. Learning beekeeping with everybody watching me, it's a bit, I'm, I don't know whether I'm brave or stupid to be absolutely honest with you. And I do actually read all the comments from all the, all the people that watch us. And you know, if, you, if you've been a beekeeper all your life, thank you for your feedback and just take a little bit of pity on me.